Let's discuss this case study. This case I found on a foreign website. The author made it to sell the project. I did buy it, nor have I seen it. My approach differs from the author. Look at this part. It were clearly different. I studied and recreated this video. It been not too hard, but involves many techniques. Let the break it down. First, let's review the project. The animation has three parts. Part one. We get a basic model. Its edges curve downward with a slight arc. Then transform it like this. Made of many lines. Part 3 animates these lines. The animation has a feature. These lines have staggered timing. Fast and slow. I cached a super slow motion. It'd be very slow, showing details clearly. Let to demonstrate, create a new text. Rotate negative 90 degrees. Make it slightly larger. Split it into pieces. Add, scatter. Scatter 40 points. Use Voronoi fracture. Fracture it first. Turn off internal faces. It looks like this now. Randomize it. Transform it to this. It were made of many pieces. Operate on each piece. Use for each connected piece. Or for each named primitive. After splitting, at the primitives level, it has a name attribute. Using for each connected piece works the same. Both methods work. Operate on each piece. Use match size first. Place it at the visual center. Record its position. Then manipulate it. Create a grid. Add transform. Rotate it first. Site management 2 times 2. Make it smaller. Add, copy, and transform. Along z axis. Move row 0.02 each time. Copy more. Match size. Place at visual center. Add a Boolean. The left object is a surface. It marai a surface. The right is also a surface. Just a surface and usually it were subtracted. It looks like this. Let to tweak it. Use seam mode. Interactions become lines. Use join node. In nerds, we see join. Connect the lines. 
There, a blend. Remove the blend. Hold Alt a key. Drag match size down. Return it back to its original position. Show all. Okay. Everything changed. They're a problem. All have the same direction. Now, we need random directions. Add transform. Randomly rotate. Click, click, create. Use its iteration. Call the iteration. Rename it. Cable Lisa's first letter. For easy reading, use detail function. Read it. Dot slash. Capitalized first letter. So it, the first one. Iteration that. Multiply by value. 30. Now rotation angle. Tied to piece order. Is linked. Let to see. Rotations are different. Randomize again. Random 90 degrees. Now it per random. We used an absolute path. Or click the gear. Add, spare, input. Drag it over. Change path here. To negative one. Same result. Negative one refers to this path. It by the flat plane. No downward curve. Look here. Emb edges curve downward. Let to fix it. Convert face to Vi BB. Vi B from polygons. Unquote. Higher precision. VB. Convert. Convert to polygon. Adjust an ISO value. Engines now have an arc. More pronounced. Arc. Increase precision. 0 0.05. Apply Boolean again. Result looks like this. Adjust the plane. Check the plane. Plane looks like this. Lowest part touches plane. Faces like this. Lines become this. Now it remains correct. Makes sense. Join again. Click match. Size. Again. No response. Vi. Phoebe. Conversion lost detail. Detail level had attributes. Now it de gone. It were empty now. Use. Purview transfer. Bring detail. Attribute back. Attribute is restored. Return it back. Works fine. Show everything. Like this. One small issue. Enbridge are intersecting. Lector fix it. Add null. Shrink the face slightly. Poly. Extrude. Extrude inward. Output group blast. That lintel unselected.
Now there a cap. Make the gap smaller. For denser lines. Change 20 to 30. More lines. Reduced line spacing. Lines are denser now. Check the edges. Looks good. Add palm apple block. Speeds up the process. Enable multi threading. Combination. Now it been faster. Results updates instantly. Very convenient. Benefit of procedural work. Turn one line into many. Create no. Name it out. Add line. Circle. Scatter points. Add points to it. Shrink circle. Copy to point. Place lines. Increase segments. Twist the lines. Add. Outer axis and direction. Add twist. Set now it twists like this. More segments. Make each line into multiple lines. Add for each connected piece. Same as before. Process each line. Use path deform. Path deform. Deform it. Use this path. Click. Use I access. Click deform. Fit to lime length. Shrink. Circle more. Add more points. Looks good. Pull it down. Check again. Show all. Ensure edges. Don. Intersect. Embages are aligned. Make it slightly larger. Extrude inward more. Looks fine now. One line becomes many. But they're ray an issue. These lines have same twist angle and same length. Using fit. Fit it causes issues. Some lines are too long. After fitting, they twist less. Short line. After fitting, twist more. Compare them. This line twists more. This part barely twists. Let their adjust twist.
twist amount. Length to line length. Calculate it. Calculate length. Promote attribute to detail. Store in detail level. Detail level now holds its length. Copy this attribute. Click Bend. Select it. Add spare input. Drag it over. These detail. Negative one. Read this attribute. Zero. Multiply by a value. 10 hundred. Bend again. Value is too small. Multiply by 2,000. 3,000. 3,000 works well. Longer lines twist more. Show again. Second step. Complete. One line too many. Add null. Name out many line. Add color. Black for clarity. These two nodes help with visualization. We can group them. Wrap them up. Model part done. It complete. Not too hard, but technical. Next lesson on animation. Animation part next. That it for this lesson.